All right, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. I've already put up one video on the day. I wanted to make sure we had something like a, the time capsule of a time that we had together. I had a whole bunch of fun uh, with my good buddy. He'll always be Luke Cage 29 to me, but as of right now, he's Luke Cara on uh, Twitter. And then my good buddy, uh, Zach, WB Punk Fan 19. I honestly don't even know Zach by his uh, YouTube name. I always think of in Zach We Trust, which he just recently changed. Uh, a, a big bad marketing brand uh, change, I would say. But um, three minutes for this pay per view honestly wasn't what it was supposed to be. Um, honestly, uh, they paid me a little bit of money for the show. I have to chip in the last little bit to cover the show. So I didn't have to pay $55 for this show. You know, honestly, I think that's how a lot of people uh, watch pay per views is get friends together. And if you did have to pay for this show or mainly any other pay per view ever in time by yourself, uh, I feel bad for you. Um, once the network gets here, this is probably the last show that I'll ever have to order on my TV and pay for. And as a host, honestly, it sucks. I'm always very, very nervous that, you know, like, like Luke flew in an airplane to get here. And, like, if, like, my shit fucked up or something like that, um, I'd be really, really embarrassed. It sucks to be the host. Um, but uh, I was glad that he came and we had a whole bunch of fun. Uh, once it got down to Rumble time, I mean, it was on like Donkey Kong. This was a really, really fun show, and honestly, the ending will ruin it for you for a while. I'm not a biggest the, the biggest fan of uh, the Royal Rumble 2010 uh, when Edge won um, the Royal Rumble. It's sort of a forgettable one. I always really think about uh, the Straight Edge Society, CM Punk running the shit early on in the show, um, but... Um, it's one of the ones I don't really normally go back and, and watch that much. And I don't think the Batista win will be that like that either. I uh, recently watched his other win, I believe it was Royal Rumble 2005 the other day. That was a lot of fun. Honestly, like, I guess we'll just start with that. Um, I got a whole lot of problems with one of your, your biggest guys in your company, Daniel Bryan, and his whole yes movement. It makes no sense. His whole, you know, basic... Storyline is taking down the machine, breaking down what is the uh, um, the authority, you know, Triple H and Stephanie, Vince McMahon, so on and so forth. Maybe even Linda's fucking in there. You know, basically, you know, just trying to take them down because they wouldn't let him be WWE champion. He won the belt. I think he won it twice. He might have won it three times. I'm not 100% sure. The, the, you know, the, the fall of Brian fucking sucked. If that's what you want to call it. It's not it's like I wasn't just talking about the season, but as a as a whole, <laughs> the fall of Daniel Bryan really sucked. And the more they push him down, the more the fans want to pick him up. I mean, they they were chanting for Daniel Bryan. Hell, they were chanting for anything else in the world other than what was in that ring tonight. They they wanted no part of Batista. Hell, you should have even put Bryan in there and just had him just get eliminated in the final four guys. Um, it, it might have saved. Um, the show because honestly Pittsburgh I mean you guys were on it I mean you guys pay your tickets you guys should be able to ch cheer boo and you know whatever you want to do for anybody else that's out there anybody calls you a bad crowd you know we've all gone to, on, gone to shows we've all tried to, to hijack the show we all cheer for our favorite guys I'm a kind of guy I like some baby faces I mostly like heels that's just who I am, you know. Uh, you know, I'm gonna get into it with the kid sitting to the left of me because he wants to cheer for John Cena, and I love John Cena nine times out of ten. But a lot of times, I want to see the other guy beat him. Not always, but most of the time, you know. Like I, I have all the respect in the world for John Cena, but a lot of times, I'm rooting for the other guy that's going up against him. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, when they did the uh, the interview with, with uh, Randy Orton, Renee Young said Daniel Bryan has thrown his name into the Royal Rumble. Maybe I looked too much into the words they said, but Daniel Bryan should have been in this fucking match. Um, they didn't really do the CM Punk stuff that I thought they were going to do. I know that Kane came in and took him down, and Kane is a part of the authority. But I really thought when Kevin Nash came down there, he was going to play up the fact that you know he was Triple H's buddy. Maybe they went in there. But there was no real point in time when the Shield and Kevin Nash and Kane really worked together. Kane just... Uh, some people said that he came back and jumped the barricade. Some people said he came from under the ring. I'm not 100% how he got out there, but uh, that's how Punk got dumped. We got to see the breakup of the Shield tonight, more than likely, uh, with uh, Dean Ambrose trying to eliminate Roman Reigns. They basically were hinting and telling each other that they were going to eliminate each other, but Roman w uh, got the wind of it when he dumped out. I guess they said they broke Kane's record. So, I mean, he really did look strong. He was out there for the final things. If you were looking at Twitter, a whole lot of stuff is blowing up about Roman. Um, 
when JBL was in the ring, he was one of the big surprise guys. It was him, Kevin Nash, somebody else that I can't remember. Um, he said, here, Cole, hold my jacket. If you're like me, you wanted Michael Cole to grab his hand and pull him out. That is 100% honestly uh, what I wanted to see. That would be so much, uh, you know, you know, good stuff to build up for the next uh, JBL and Cole show. But, um, yeah, he got dumped. That was it. I mean, uh, I don't know. Uh, we were looking at Twitter, and um, basically somebody read one of the tweets. I think it was Zach uh, that Warrior put out there, and that's what put the thing into us. And then when I really sat down and I read the tweet... It really didn't go the way that I thought that it was, you know, read the first time. Maybe it was just the way you hear it. Maybe it's just the way you read it. Um, you know, but we were really hoping that we were going to see the Ultimate Warrior tonight. And with Punk being number one, I can see Punk going uh, to management and saying, you know, you know, this is what you guys should do. This is what you guys should do. And have Punk versus Warrior number one and number two. That would be something fun that I think CM Punk would really, really want. Uh, El Torito, honestly, he was really fun. And I think it was really cool with Punk. And Van Dango did for that guy. You can just tell that they love wrestling. They don't give a shit. Anybody who says that Van Dango got buried tonight and looked horrible doesn't know anything about wrestling. There's always going to be a funny spot in every match, especially in the Royal Rumble. I mean, a few years ago, we got Mick Foley in the sock versus Santino in the snake. And that blew up, and that was awesome. But for some reason, El Torito didn't get over tonight. I didn't like that we didn't see any members of three, uh, a three-man band. We should have shot Jinder out there. We should have saw... Um, Drew McIntyre, that, I mean, to me, uh, that would have been really cool, but I, I, I don't know, all in all, I'm not happy with the winner, because the one guy that I think is the company and has the biggest storyline that everybody wants to see, didn't even get a shot to compete tonight, um, that's my major, uh, grief, <laughs> but, um, you know, hey, that's all in all, Batista got the win in the Rumble, so, um, take that for what it is, but more than likely, I think if I go on and I watch some videos on YouTube, 9 out of 10 people are going to hate it. 9 out of 10 people are going to say the same thing I did. Daniel Bryan, you know, wasn't in the Rumble. But, um, hey, it was one hell of a weekend. Luke and Zach, peace out. Next up on the list, Click 30. What's up, Boston Brothers? What up, Ravi? What up, Justin? What up, Miguel? What up, LB? <laughs> I got Instant Classic 8. Um, D Block. So on and so forth. Trademark. Well, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, there's a thousand people that are going to be there. We're all going to have a ton of fun. Throw up the click symbols, and we'll get this done. Peace out. See you in New Orleans.